That was a metre dash then for race number five. This is the first leg of the triple trio, the class four contest, headed by Forza Angel. Now he's drawn barrier 11, he likes to roll forward, does have a course and distance win to his name. We the South broke his maiden status last time out at odds, serve a course and distance. Excellent chariot makes his uh, debut here for Ricky Yu and Antoine Hamelin. Butte Butte gets barrier three, stone last though behind We the South. Last time out, so Daily Delight third in that We The South race, gets a five pound turnaround. Prawn Yeah Yeah up in class and went down the straight last time for him. An oversubscribed beaten favourite and well beaten last time out over the 1200 metres here at Happy Valley. Now, excellent chariot, the debutant and Dr Proactive are the horses that have been up at uh, Chung Far Mark in the last month. And the speed map has a good pace being set up by We The South, excellent chariot is going to be in the perfect spot right in behind him. Oversubscribed goes forward as expected. Forza Angel out wider. Butte Butte winner's heart winning way. Super Alliance is on the three wide line. Dr Proactive and Daily tonight. Ever brave and back at the end as the last start winner. Prawn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Read the South as the last start winner. He's likely to go forward as well. Uh, Wagner Borges is aboard. Nice quiet piece of work down the back straight. So he did win a big odds. We'll just see if he can back it up and uh, win uh, two in a row. Uh, his work's been pretty good. Winning ways is always pretty keen in the mornings. You can see he's keen once again here. Uh, Joe Marrera really got a good hold on this one as he comes down. He's been a, a little bit unlucky in a couple of his runs. He has a winner four starts ago as well. So he's a horse in form. And Dr Proactive's been going really well in the mornings. He's at the one on the orange saddlecloth on the inside here. Another one who's very keen. You can see him really pulling here, just being restrained. But uh, look, he is going nice enough. All right, let's start off here with uh, Daily Delight. A little bit unlucky last time out behind uh, We the South. His jockey, Blake Shin. Blake Daily Delight is a horse you've had a bit to do with. Is he progressing the way you'd like him to? I think so, yes. I think he's shown in all, all his runs he's continued to improve in his race sense and um, the way he's kept performing. I think he's on an upward spiral. Um, he's drawn bad barriers at all of his runs, but he's continued to race well and hopefully we can atone for his luckless run last time just through circumstances from a wide barrier. Drawn better tomorrow night. I think he can go close. So last time, as you say, luckless, wide draw, had to go back. This time out, can you take advantage of a good draw with him? I think we can um, without, without riding him too much out of his comfort zone. There is um, a lot of speed in the race with Forza Angel and We the South, but he's drawn a, a great barrier in four to, to sit hopefully not too far away. He's shown his versatility in his races. He can go forward, he can go back, which is what I like to see in a, in a young horse. Uh, he's got a great mindset. It'll all come down to the pace, but he's going well. Um, I'm confident in the horse and I think he can go close. All right, that's Daily Delight. It's a five-pound turnaround with We the South for that run. A length and three quarters was the official margin. Uh, let's have a look at Prawn. Yeah, yeah, brings winning form to the table as well. But it was down the straight at Chartin last time out as a near 25 to 1 chance. Uh, switching back to Happy Valley, Mark? He is, and both these wins have been in Class 5, though. For Class 5 followers, that's Jimson the Dragon on the outside rail and Demons Rock, who's gone on to win out of this race. So the form out of it is good, Paul, but... Worry about him up in Class 4. Yeah, I do too. I think Class 5 is his go. Uh, he has won at Happy Valley before, but look, I haven't got him in the numbers in there. All right, what about uh, We the South? We just uh, saw that race when Blake was talking about um, Daily Delight. Back at the trials, though, um, here. Um, it was a decent enough price, Paul, when he won. Can he get on with it? That's the question, isn't it? I I'm not so sure. I didn't put him in in the end. Uh, look, he's, he might get taken on by Forza Angel. That's, that's the key. I think, in the race. But, uh, look, his trial was OK. They, they tried him a bit different, ran him back, and he finished off nice enough. I'm just not convinced he can do two in a row. I've got him in on a minor line. I'm just wondering, on the back of that trial, if perhaps they're just going to look at riding him back in the field with the anticipated speed in the race, and they've seen how he finished off, and it was OK, too. Mm. And John Moore made some positive noises about him as well after the race, saying he was a, a nice horse. Excellent chariot, though, Mark. Um, he hits the track for the first time. He's had four trials. Um, he's been pushed along in a few of them like he's being done so here, but he always finds a line nicely, Paul. Yeah, I quite like him. I, and I thought his best trial was at Happy Valley when he won it. He won a 1,000-metre trial, the tongue tile go on. He's 1,084, so I think he's quite forward for a really good run, this horse. All right, and interestingly enough, he is our favourite at this stage as well, Paul. So do you like him enough to put him on top? I did, yeah. I put him, I thought, just think from barrier one, it's not an overly strong race. 
he'll get his opportunity. So he's on top. One outside the square there, Dr. Proactive. Uh, he's a very well-rated horse now, and he's coming back to Happy Valley. Uh, winning ways, uh, he's been working well, and uh, he is a winner here on the course uh, recently. And Super Alliance, as he had no luck last start, will give him another chance. 4 10 3, 5. With Dr. Proactive, as Paul said, he's rated really well. He's two placings at Happy Valley. He's been off a rating of 50 and 52. He goes runners of 49 on Wednesday night. Nine Dully Delight in for second. He was never completely clear, as we saw on the replay. He was starting to build some momentum when he got out. Give We the South another chance. He was pretty good. He trialled well leading up to that win. There was nothing wrong with his trial written differently that we just saw also. And winning ways, he's just about on his last chance. He ran fifth behind We the South. He's just been a touch disappointing as far as finding the line goes. 10, 9, 2 and 3. I've included the first starter. Excellent show. It does look a nice uh, prospect. But daily delight to turn things around with We the South uh, for me here in race number 5.